I'm Winston Giesick, Philanthropy and Special Sections Editor for the Desert Sun in Palm Springs, bringing you today's top headlines from the Golden State. Have a friend who wants California news delivered to their inbox for free? Let them know they can sign up via this link. The Food and Drug Administration will soon authorize the Pfizer-BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine for adolescents ages 12 to 15, who could be eligible to receive the shots as early as next week, according to a report in the New York Times Monday. The highly anticipated decision, which is likely to be supported by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, would allow most middle and high school students to get vaccinated before summer camps and the start of the 2021-22 school year. In a recent trial, Pfizer-BioNTech showed in 2,260 adolescents ages 12 to 15 that its two-dose vaccine was extremely safe and entirely effective. Of the 16 adolescents infected by COVID-19 in the trial, all had received the placebo, none the active vaccine. California reported 13,167 new cases of coronavirus in the week ending Sunday, down from 13,560 new cases the week before. The Golden State ranked 49th among the states where coronavirus was spreading the fastest on a per-person basis, according to a USA Today network analysis of data from Johns Hopkins University. In the latest week, coronavirus cases in the United States decreased 15.4% from the week before, with 344,463 cases reported. With 11.87% of the country's population, California had 3.82% of the country's cases in the last week. Within California, the worst weekly outbreaks on a per-person basis were in Siskiyou, Del Norte and Stanislaus counties. Adding the most new cases overall were Los Angeles County, with 2,240 cases, San Diego County, with 1,109 cases, and Sacramento County, with 864. Weekly case counts rose in 16 counties from the previous week. The worst increases from the prior week's pace were in San Diego, Stanislaus and Solano counties. In the week ending Sunday, California reported administering another 2,386,383 vaccine doses, including 1,106,026 first doses. In the previous week, the state administered 2,706,640 vaccine doses, including 1,410,221 first doses. In all, California reported it has administered 31,185,031 total doses. Thousands of people showed up at the Sophie Stadium in Inglewood on Sunday for, Vax Live, the concert to reunite the world a charity performance designed to promote confidence in COVID-19 vaccines while raising money to support worldwide vaccination efforts. Sponsored by relief organization Global Citizen, the Southern California concert wasn't open to the general public. Instead, it was attended by an estimated 20,000 invited guests, healthcare and other essential workers, who were fully vaccinated and required to wear masks. Hosted by Selena Gomez, the event included performances by Jennifer Lopez, Eddie Vedder, Foo Fighters, J Balvin and H.E.R.